Julian Classic Empire got bounced around at the break. Did you think it cost him that much? Yeah, it cost me a lot. I think you know the position around the first turn uh, during the race, and then on the second turn I had to come wide too. So it definitely cost us. Uh, I mean, I think a lot, but we'll see what happens next uh, next race. Well, always dreaming was was a, a pretty dominant winner of the Derby. Um, do you think you would have had a, a, a with a clean trip had a chance at him? Well, you know, at least I would have finished second. To me, uh, that's for for sure. Um, now you never know. We he had the perfect trip and I didn't. So we got to see. Uh, hopefully, uh, like I said before, hopefully we both get a great trip uh, break next day and see uh, see what happens. Tactically at Pimlico for the Preakness, how would you like to see the race run? I think it's going to be quite a bit of speed now. Uh, Conquest more money uh, coming. It's got speed. Uh, always dreaming, obviously, is going to be right there. Uh, so hopefully I can be uh, not too far from them. Um, right behind them will be great, yeah. And would you prefer a fast track or it doesn't really matter? I mean, I think it, it, it's nice if we can get a fast track where it's fair for everybody. Um, so we can, we can see uh, who is the best one. He was two-year-old champion. Have you seen a, a, much of a difference from him physically and or mentally this year? Well, you know, with the rough win- winter we had, uh, it was uh, tough to say, you know, before before Derby, but uh, I think Derby time he was really, really good. I mean, uh, he was very quiet, very uh, on his game and uh, focused, and and uh, he actually broke very good, and it's too bad we we got bumped, you know, two or three strides after, after the break. Uh, so I hope I hope he he gets to the prickness, you know, focus like he did for Derby and uh, and and get a good trip and we see what happens. Best of luck at prickness. Thank you.